Richard, it's good to see you again. This is Richard Nisbet, and just a short while ago, a few days ago, I hope you heard the interview when he told us all about the campaign for a, a theatre in Tweeddale in the Scottish borders. And today we're back because we're very keen, after that inspiring interview, to hear a little bit more. And what I've asked Richard today to answer is, how did that campaigning group move forward? What were the first steps they took to proceed? And how did that amazing dream of a theatre become a reality? <laughs> thank you. Nice to be back. And um, thank you. Yeah. Um, so we had that earlier meeting with Peter and different groups and individuals um, and made up our wish list. Um, but things, it's the old thing of we talk about things, it's the doing, having action. And I discovered in January of 1992, my mom, um, Florence Nisbet, and Mary Dolmich, who was living locally, she's part of the Dolmich family, Googled them, interesting musicians background. Um, and they discussed action. And I, anybody that knows my mum, Florence, knew that action is something that she definitely was very much. So Mary hired a builder architect from East Lothian to look and advise possibilities at the Eastgate Community Centre. Um, so we drew up plans and they're, they're not too dissimilar from what the art centre is today. And a meeting of all the groups, the clubs, the interested parties was organised and, and what we now call the Anne Younger Studio was the venue in the studio at the back of the old community centre. It was absolutely packed. It was very fractious um, because it was from all organisations, churches, the Lord. Um, but a committee and a group was formed and that group became under one roof with the idea as a pressure group and a fundraising group for an arts centre. It was backed by 17 organisations then and many individuals. Meetings happened with councillors and officials from Tweedale Council. At that time, the borders was made up of five district councils. It wasn't until the 1996 time that it became one tier authority. Um, and fundraising included subscriptions, donations, a summer fete, burn suppers, dances, discos, fancy dress included. There was concerts including the Kevitt Choir, there was Shakespeare at Traquair was born out of it. And you'll remember Mary, we did the famous Upland Way Walk, where we tried to compete it, complete it the whole way. Um, with different area groups are doing parts of it um, and, um, and the soul like there was loads more and from that kind of like great community engagement the Tweedale Council which was outgoing at the time they laid aside £50,000 for a feasibility study into having an arts centre and at the time they also formed what they called the 1996 company. From the feasibility study it emerged we were looking at the Borough Hall, the East Gate, the Drill Hall, the Memorial Hall in Inner Leithen. There was people mentioning the Volunteer Hall in Gala Shields because we we're also thinking there had been a, a massive feasibility study a decade earlier done over all of Scotland and it had outlined that um, the borders was very lacking. So that was kind of like looking at a one in the borders rather than the individual districts. Um, all of them, all of these venues that were looked at were met with absolutely hostile reaction. Um, obviously there were some positive ones too, but it was that kind of like what about our coffee mornings and dances and parties? My indoor bowling? What about my badminton club? And the Borough Hall was gifted to the gutter bloods. It should be in Peebles. 
and so forth. And it went on like that. And how can we fund this was, of course, a big one. So there was a lot of dark days, but one councillor, Anne Younger, and an official, Jim Munro, they worked, I would say, stealthily and certainly tirelessly with Under One Roof and others and individuals. And then in time, with the 1996 company that they were part of, they secured funding from the new Scottish Borders Council, from National Lottery, from European funding, that was very important, European funding, and Under One Roof, and, and all the other different groups and other sources. And before we knew it, yeah, architects and builders were in place. And what we now call the Eastgate Theatre and Arts Centre became a reality. Oh, what a wonderful line to finish on, Richard. And to hear the word perseverance seems to come through and so many people involved to make this amazing dream happen. Community still... effort. Community effort. Community is a wonderful word. I still feel there's one more interview we need to have with you, if that's possible. And mm -hmm. I would like to hear next time we meet you. How has this amazing theatre affected the community? What has it meant to this wider community who worked so hard for it? Would that be possible? I would very, very much like to come back and tell you what my thoughts are about that contribution. Thank you. Thank you.